everybody. Nice to see you all again. Can you see where I am? Yes, I'm back in Mr. McGregor's garden. Remember I was here two or three weeks ago and we were hearing how hard Mr. McGregor was having to work to grow all his vegetables. Let's see if it's hard work to having any effect. Wow, yes. Can you see those carrots right at the back? They're growing a lot. And the cabbages here at the front, they're almost ready to eat. So all that hard work is really paying off. So much hard work, in fact, it's time to have a bit of a rest. So I'm gonna sit and be quiet. And I wonder when I'm quiet, if there are any sounds to listen to. Will you listen with me? So here we go. Let's listen quietly in this garden. What can we hear? Did you hear those sounds? I think I heard a bird, did you? Do you know what the name of the bird is? Yes, it's a cuckoo, just like the sound it makes. And what about that other noise? I think that was the dog next door. Did you hear him barking? Wonder what you think he might have been barking at. Well, if you've got those right, that shows you're a really good listener. I wonder if you're a good listener all the time. Sometimes when we listen to things, we don't always hear exactly what is being said. I've got a part of the Peter Rabbit film where some things are said and they're not heard quite right. So shall we watch this film and see these bits about the film? Here they come. It's the bits when the lady 
goes to meet Thomas McGregor for the first time. Hello. Oh, sorry. I didn't oh. mean to startle you. I'm B. I just live over here. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm uh, Thomas. I live way over there in London. Oh. <laughs> that way. Yes. Uh, I'm just here temporarily. I'm fixing up this place to sell, using the proceeds to open my own toy store, preferably near Harrods so they can witness their own downfall. <laughs> so that's a lot of information right there. Sorry. Good for you for not being afraid to open up. What are they saying? Shh, I can read lips. I'm just a little out of my element. Oh, I think you'll find the elements here are pretty fabulous. I think you'll find the elephants around here are really flatulent. What? In my opinion, it's just the most beautiful place on Earth. Well, it just got a lot more beautiful. <laughs> you didn't just say that. And clean, sturdy, functional. Oh, the gate. Yes. I, I thought you were saying I was beautiful. Oh, did you? Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I would say that. Hey, I'm, I'm not fishing. I'm not, uh, you are beautiful. And you're different to the gate. <laughs> I can't read lips, but I know her. And she's telling him to take down those gates and let us into the garden. Well, enjoy your brief stay. Just uh, please don't be like the nasty old man who used to live here. He was a real twit. He was my uncle. You didn't let me finish. He was a real... Sorry, I can't. No. <laughs> There's no saving that one. He was a real twit. No offence. Did you see the bits? Where they got it wrong? There's a funny bit at the beginning when she was saying about the elephants and he they've heard as the elephants about to get that mixed up. And then there was a funny bit where he was talking about the gate and she thought he was talking about her, describing her in a funny way. <laughs> so they got it completely wrong. They listened, but they didn't hear. So I wonder, are there any times when you have said something and someone else has heard it differently. And that's been very funny, or perhaps been a bit embarrassing, I wonder. You can think of a story. Tell me when I see you next. In our Bible reading today, we're hearing about a day called the Day of Pentecost. And on this day, one of Jesus' friends, who's called Peter, stands up. And there are loads and loads of people there from all over the world. And Peter paints this incredible picture the way that the world could be if everyone followed God's way. It's a great vision, a dream, when everything is going well for everyone. It's a great place to be. And the Bible says that everyone who was there from all the different parts of the world listened and understood what Peter said. Now, some people think when they say listened and understood, all they meant was that because they came from different countries and they spoke different languages, Something special happened that day so they were able to kind of translate in their head straight away the message. But I think listening and understanding meant much more than that. I think it meant that those people who were there in that city listening to Peter, they caught his vision. They got it. And they got it so much that they decided that they would go away and they would do their best to make the world become that place that Peter gave this wonderful picture image of where everyone was living together in harmony and working to make sure everyone was cared for. In a few weeks' time, some people are coming from all over the world to Cornwall. They are the leaders of what we call the G7. And they're speaking different languages. They'll probably have interpreters. And they'll be listening to each other. I wonder, do you think they will just listen or do you think they will understand? Will they understand what they're saying to each other? Will they listen and understand what people like you and me are saying? I expect you've all seen, perhaps learned, that new song, the G7 song, which has got a vision, a message of how people can be when they all live and care and work together. So I would like to ask you, in the next few weeks, say some prayers. Those people that come from all over the world to the G7, they will listen and they will understand what it is that people are asking them to do to make this world a fairer and more just place, just like Peter and Jesus and all those people who want to see that happen, not just then, 
that today. You say a prayer for that to happen, for listening and understanding for a more just, more fair place for our people living in the world. Amen.